Morning guys, welcome to Wellington. We're here for four nights to check out Beervana. We got in last night, didn't film too much, but we did end up going out to a couple of breweries. We went to Fortune Favors and Whistling Sisters. They were both really good. The beer was like 10 out of 10. Wellington is the craft beer capital of New Zealand, so we cannot wait to experience Beervana later today. It is the biggest craft beer festival in New Zealand, I believe. And this morning it's pretty cloudy, so we're gonna head into Te Papa, which is the museum here. Super well known, highly, highly regarded. I think it's probably the best museum in New Zealand. Let's go check it out. So far, Te Papa is amazing. Such a beautiful building. The exhibits are like top notch. It's free entry, which is incredible. Definitely a must do when you're in Wellington. This is perfect to do on a rainy day. You can easily spend a half day to a full day here. If you haven't been to the Te Papa Museum, we just found this really cool spot that's actually a lookout over downtown Wellington. It's on the sixth floor. Go way up to the top and then you'll see there's like an outdoor space and there's a door that leads outside. I didn't know this was here. I don't know if this is something everyone knows, but if you're gonna come here and you're watching this video, go way up to the top and look for this lookout point because this is really cool. So we just had a really good lunch at TJ Katsu, I believe. It's just up the street. We had some delicious sushi. For my plate of sushi, it was $14, so not too, too bad. We're staying in the Ramada Hotel that's on Taranaki Street. If you guys are curious about pricing and everything like that, this place cost 450 Canadian dollars for four nights, which is really quite good. It's super walkable. It's really close to pretty much everything. And we're about a 30 minute walk away from Sky Stadium where we're gonna go check out Beervana. Tickets for Beervana were about 60 Canadian each and we got the 30 minute pre entry. So we're going there for 5.30 instead of six o'clock. We're gonna take our time walking over there. Might check out a few stores, a few shops. So let's go and check out some of downtown Wellington. On our way over to Sky Stadium, it started to pour. So we decided to pop into the Wellington Museum just along the way. And they close in like 20 minutes, so we don't have much time here, but it looks really cool. There's a lot of maritime history here. Another free museum in Wellington. Hopefully it's not too windy and you can still hear me, but we're just walking along the waterfront and there's so many cool looking bars. Lots of boats. Lots of boats. Lots of boats. This place is gonna be bumping later in the evening, I would say. Probably during the day too on the weekend. The wind is blowing and the rain is coming. The rain's coming so hard, yeah. We're picking up our pace to try and beat this wall of rain. Will we make it? Hey guys, welcome to the second day in Wellington. Last night, Beervana, we wrapped up. We didn't really have time to close out that night, but we had a ton of fun. Maybe too much fun because we got back to the hotel around 3 a.m. and it was very rainy and windy as Wellington normally is, but it was good. Such a fun festival. Definitely recommend if you're into craft beer. And today we decided to go out, hit up the farmer's market that's right across from Te Papa called the Harborside Farmer's Market. We picked up some fruit and then we went back to Te Papa to do the first two floors or the second floor that we didn't get to do on our first trip yesterday. But I don't know what we're gonna get up to today. We're feeling pretty tired. It's super windy out, but it's not raining, so that's good. Well, we mustered up all the energy we could to come up to Mount Victoria for the sunset. We took an Uber up here. It was like $11, pretty stunning. Good 
morning guys welcome to monday in wellington today we're heading over to the weta workshop and the weta cave i'm not 100 percent sure if we're gonna do the full tour or not i don't know how much it is i'm not sure if they have a room or anything but we're gonna go and check it out see what it's all about a lot of you guys have recommended that and we've been looking forward to going to it for a while later today i think we're gonna go up the cable car to check out the view from up there we're gonna go and hop on the bus i think so let's go it's chilly out today and very windy here we go Statues outside as you can see behind me but it's very windy very rainy so I think we're gonna go inside and see what they have to offer the bus ride here was about 30 minutes from the CBD and it was two dollars fifty cents each that's a great way to travel the city if you don't want to splurge and take an uber and we're gonna go find out how much this tour is and see if we want to do it Lighting's probably not great in here, but tickets were $55 each, 55 New Zealand dollars each. And just the cave here where all the things you can buy and the memorabilia and everything is amazing. Really looking forward to this tour. I have a feeling it's gonna be a lot better than the one in Auckland, just because this is like the OG. I don't think we can take video in here, the same as the Auckland one. We just wrapped up at the Weta workshop. We did the tour, the full tour. It was amazing. It was short, but it was really well done. You got to see so many things from Lord of the Rings and there were actually people there who worked on the film, worked on all of the sets and everything, all the armor and the props. And they had their little piece where they got to tell us about what that was like. So that was amazing. I think if you're gonna either do Auckland or Wellington, Wellington was much better in my opinion. The group size was just a lot better and the content and what you actually get to see if you like Lord of the Rings, I think you're gonna prefer the Wellington one. So now we just popped over to a little cafe and grabbed sandwich and pie before grabbing the bus back into the city center. I think we're gonna try and head over to the cable car for maybe sunset. the cable car up to the top viewpoint there's a little restaurant up here and everything it was six dollars per person one way and the view is just stunning up here there's a museum up here botanic gardens there's a lot to do Space Place looks really cool, but it's closing. So we don't have time to check that out today. And we're just walking across from the observatory and Space Place to see another little viewpoint. So it turns out it is $6 to come back down or it's $11 return if you buy it in the beginning. So you only save a dollar. We're walking back to the hotel and we're in the Lambton Quay. You gotta tell me if that's how you say that because I think I heard someone say Lambton Key earlier and I don't know if that's true or not, but obviously the bustling, busy city center area and it is currently what, five o'clock? 
So right after work, and it's awesome. To see everybody walking around and doing their thing. Walking up Cube Street now, which is one of the most well-known spots. So many shops, bars, restaurants. Ooh, a fountain. And a fountain. So many things to do here. They're like, this is a Monday right now, and people are out and about. Love it. It's getting pretty chilly now, so we're just gonna head back to the hotel and call it a night, I think. And tomorrow we leave, so might not see you before then, but we'll probably see you at the airport at the very least. made it home from Wellington, but I thought I would jump on and just wrap things up. We had such an amazing time in the city. Birvana was amazing. If we're here for it next year, we're definitely gonna go. I think we would rather do the Friday during the day or the Saturday during the day instead of the nighttime because we ended up going to the very last session. So a lot of beers were already sold out, but we had such a fun time outside of Birvana exploring the city. And I'm so glad that you guys came along with us. We're pretty tired now, so I think we're gonna just relax. Take it easy for the rest of the day. It's beautiful and sunny here. And we'll see you guys really soon in the next vlog. Thank you so much for joining us. Bye-bye.